Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about doing a basic setup to um, set up a wireless bridge using uh, two Ubiquiti NanoBeam AC Gen 2s. I have another video where I unbox this, and I'll put a link down below to that. And also, if this video is helpful, you do, I'll put a link in the description to uh, this product on my Amazon um, with an Amazon affiliate link, and that helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra if you order through there. So to get started, I have uh, two of these um, NanoBeam AC Gen 2s, and I'm going to be setting up a bridge between two houses, but for sake of this video, I'm going to be um, referring to like a house and a barn, just uh, so you can, don't get confused between house A and house B. So um, this will be the house, this will be the barn, and um, I'll talk about the connections, and then I'm going to be setting this up on my tablet and I'll do screen recording to kind of walk through that. So um, you have two parts here. This is going to mount outside um, pointing towards the house one's going to point towards the barn one. You'll have an ethernet wire uh, connecting from this to the uh, the power brick and this will connect to the internet. So your internet will come into this um, power injector and that will go into the LAN port here. And then coming out of the PoE, you'll likely have a long cable um, from this PoE up to where your first antenna is mounted. And that will go in the main PoE in plus data port. So that'll be the house connection and that will get internet to this point, you know, through here. So internet goes in here, comes out of here with this antenna. And then this will mount on the barn and you have the main PoE in here. We'll have a cable from here to the power injector on the other end. And then this LAN will go to, you know, a computer, it, you know, a server, it can go to whatever. Um, it can go to another access point to provide internet to the building, things like that. So you have the barn and the house. So now I'm gonna switch over to my tablet and I'll walk through setting these uh, components up. Okay, so what I've done is I plugged in one of the two uh, Wi-Fi uh, antennas. I plugged in the home one, the house one, and um, it has a management Wi-Fi radio on it, which will run for about 15 minutes. Well, it'll run for 15 minutes uh, once you plug it in. So we want to connect to that. I'm using an iPad. You could use an iPhone, uh, an Android tablet, anything like that. And I'm going to connect up to the... Um, that remote Wi-Fi management um, on the thing. So uh, when I look up my Wi-Fi selector, I see NBE 5AC Gen 2 and the MAC address of it. And you only want to plug one in at a time because if you plug both in at a time, it's confusing at which one you're looking at. So I'll connect up to that Wi-Fi. And then I will go to the uh, UBNT app and you can download that from your app store like the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. And it will list out your connections. So Right now my tablet's connected to the management radio. I'm connecting into the uh, management console on the antenna. And um, you'll see it comes up here, the Nano Beam uh, 5AC Gen 2. At the bottom you have status, configuration, tools, and more. We're going to go to configuration. And then we have the wireless network and system. And under wireless you see wireless mode. And we want to change that to APPTP which is access point, point to point. And then your SSID, you want to change to whatever SSID you want to use on your um, system. I'm going to leave the default here. Um, this is a basic setup. Um, you'll want to change these obviously to what you want them to be. For security, I'm going to choose WPA2-AES. And for the pre-shared key, I'm going to type password. You need to use a much better password than this, but just for the video's sake. Um, and that does it for the uh, wireless setup. For network, uh, we want network mode bridge, which is default, and then interfaces management network. I'll tap on that, and I'm gonna change the IP address to DHCP. So I use uh, DHCP on my network. Um, if you do static IP, you'll want to enter that in there. Then we'll hit done, and done. And then I will go to system and we can do device name here and I will call this house. 
And I think that's everything else here. So I'll hit save, save changes. It wants us to type a password in, so I'll make that password also. I'll hit done. And it says saving configuration, waiting for device. So um, right now it's updating it, configuring it. When this is done, we'll plug in the second, the uh, barn antenna, and we'll do the configuration on it. I'll probably speed up the video at this point until it's done. Okay, it says configuration uh, saved. So now I'll go back to the status page here. I'll hit log out. So if I go back to my Wi-Fi uh, selector, I'll look at the MAC address here. I'll look at the last couple um, you know, alphanumeric digits. I'm going to plug in the second antenna, and I want to make sure I select the uh, second one and not the first one. So I'll plug it in. It'll take a second for it to boot up, and then I'll choose that network. Okay, so I've chosen the second um, access point and it will show up on connection. So I'm connected to the management Wi-Fi on that antenna. I'll hit it. I'll open it up. So wireless mode here, uh, before we did access point PTP, this time we want to leave it on station PTP. And then for SSID, let's select that. Um, we'll say select, and you can see that it comes up with the UBNT wireless network. I'll tap on that, and it will ask me for the pre-shared key, which we set to password. I'll hit done. So that's connected up. I'll go to network here, management network, and I'll set that to DHCP like before. And then I'll go to system and name this barn. I'll save that. Type in a new administrator password. And it's saving this configuration. Okay, the configuration is saved. So I'm still connected to the management radio on here. What I want to do is actually go back into my settings on my tablet and I'll choose my home network because now both of these devices will be on my home network. I'll go back into the management uh, tool and discover devices here. And we have both devices, but we have our two access points at this point. Uh, we have the house and the barn here. And if we hit house, We'll come up and we'll see uh, it's connected up. It says internet is available. We'll log out of that and we'll hit barn. And it will say internet is available. So we have internet on both of these um, access points now. They're, they're all hooked up. It's uh, transmitting and receiving between these two systems. But this is the basic setup um, of the uh, bridge between these two. Uh, Wi-Fi antennas. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. I'll put some uh, links in the description to my affiliate links to these systems and to any playlists I have on these products. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.